here we are in northern New South Wales and uh, we are going to have a quick discussion about um, renewable energy. You're in the situation already where you've installed solar panels That's right. and uh, you did that quite a while ago in 2011. 11. That's right. And why did you choose to do that? Well, there were government rebates and the feed-in tariff was 60 cents at the time and uh, there was a, an economic reason to, to install it. In other words, ultimately it would pay for itself, which it did do. Right. So you're actually getting a passive income from it as well? Yes. If the tariff remained as it was? Yes. And the other thing, of course, is that uh, any income from it is tax-free. Right. Okay. Not that that's a big consideration. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. So here in northern New South Wales, where you're located, you're quite remote. You're about a half an hour drive from any township. Yes, that's right. So, and also you have quite a bit of um, interruption with uh, grid power. Yep, that's right. And uh, our access is one way through bush. Right. Okay. So, uh, as far as the rebates are concerned, going back to that subject, that changed after seven years. Well, the feed-in tariff, yes, the, well, no, the, the rebates were a one-off, but the uh, feed-in tariff for uh, the conditions at the time was for seven years, seven-year contract, basically, at right. 60 cents. At 60 cents. From the state government. Right. And then after that, it dropped down to about 10 well, cents? It, uh, um, without any discussion at all, they dropped it down to 10.2. Right. And at the same time as you're sending them a kilowatt of energy at 10.2 cents, they are charging you 28 cents Correct. To, to use their version of it. Yes. Right. Which I feel the margin there is very, very high. Yes. On their I'm side. I'm sure a lot of people would love to have a business with that sort of margin. Right. And that brings me to the second question. Why did you start considering storage, energy storage? Well, once they uh, reduced the, the speed and tariff down to 10.2, all of a sudden we're in a position where uh, we're starting to have to pay them. So we had a 10 kilowatt system, we yep. started to have to pay, pay them for that payment. Yep. And I thought, well, with the investment in the 10 kilowatt system, I shouldn't have to pay anything mm. in normal circumstances. Mm. Okay, so you decided to go with battery storage. Yes. And you looked into a couple of different battery systems and you yeah. ended up being presented with an opportunity to look at Zenergy batteries. Yes. That's right. And they appear to be uh, superior to all the others. And a lot lighter. And a lot lighter. And yes. a 20 year. With a 20 year guarantee? guarantee. Yep. Yeah, which was really good. Yep. And also, um, uh, those batteries were um, much safer than, or are much safer than the other uh, lithium ion batteries. Well, there's certainly been plenty of publicity about what happens with lithium ion batteries when they're being charged and something goes wrong. Yep. That's right. And these had been thoroughly tested, which, mm. was, uh, which was great. Great news. There were other reasons for choosing battery storage. It wasn't just to be able to become no. independent. No, well, as I mentioned before, we're in an isolated place, only one way in and out, and it's through bush. There has been a fire through this bush area for something like 35 years, and uh, so we're very vulnerable. And when a fire goes through, the first thing that goes is the power. And without power, we can't run out because we don't have a town water supply. Yeah. We are on our own tanks and using pumps. Right. We need power to run the pumps. And you need power to run a protection pump as well. So if you wanted to hose the, uh, the roof down yes. and uh, put out any spot fires, you'd need a pump to do that. That's right. So that you had to gain uh, your safety back by installing a battery backup system. That's right. Okay. The other thing too is that um, over the last few years we seem to have had more power cuts. Some of them would have been for maintenance perhaps, but and there are fewer men 
to fix things in a hurry now, which is a shame. But um, and I have a, I, because we're in a rural area, I have to keep food in advance in a freezer, and I don't want to lose a freezer with an unexpected power yep. cut. Yep. A freezer full of food, and uh, so that's an important side of things too. I mean, the last time we had a, a major cut, it was. Um through weather conditions was 26 hours. Wow. And what would the average be? Oh, oh, oh. average when they're doing maintenance would be from uh, 8.30 in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And of course under our existing conditions we would have no production and would not be able to use our own power. Yeah. Whereas with the batteries we'd be able to at least. Carry on as usual. Yes. And we've found too, as we're getting older, we're feeling the humidity and heat of summer, and we want to be able to live in comfort in our little paradise here. Yep. <laughs> so that all of that came into the equation. Mm. Uh, all right. So the last question I wanted to ask you was, what do you expect to get out of the conversion process from solar panel energy generation to becoming independent? What do you expect to get? Well, oh, uh, reliability uh, and uh, uh, element of safety by yep. being able to use our water supply right. in the case of emergencies. Yep. Yeah, yes, safety aspect and the comfort. Yep. As well as the opportunity to realise a passive income. Yes. Yes, well that comes into it, although we're thinking of safety, mm. number, number one really, yep. and, and safety, security, yep. comfort, mm -hmm. personal comfort in yep. um, conditions that in this area particularly, as I said, can be extremely uncomfortable for three months of the year at least. Yep. The rest of the time is wonderful. <laughs> well, Marlene and Graham, thank you very much for uh, this little interview and uh, I hope that system of yours proves uh, exactly, if not better, than what you expect to be. Oh, we hope so. Yes. And, and we'd like to thank um, Willem Adag for the great help he's been to us in helping us understand and make the right decisions. We, and we feel they are definitely the right decisions. Thank you.